I'm gonna share my recipe for homemade caramel corn with you. And this stuff is so amazing. I suggest you put a padlock on the container you're gonna keep it in, hide the container, and then leave town. Because this stuff is so good, you'll eat the whole thing in two days. I know somebody who did that. Okay, here's my recipe. You start by preheating the oven to 250 degrees, which I have done. It's set at 250. And you need about eight to 10 cups of freshly popped popcorn. Do not use microwave popcorn. Don't use uh, store-bought. You have to make it yourself. You can do it in an air popper, on the stove in a pot. The best way, I do it in a paper bag myself in a microwave. I have a recipe for that. This is about a third of a cup of popcorn popped. It makes about eight cups. And you put that in a bowl. You can put it in a bowl or uh, lay it out something on some paper towels, whatever it takes to uh, get away, get, take away all the uh, unpopped kernels. So I just do it in one bowl, kind of uh, you know, bang it around a little bit, and then you just transfer it to the other bowl, and you'll leave all the unpopped, either unpopped kernels or little tiny ones that maybe won't pick up uh, all that nice syrup. So you just take the nice big pieces, and this is what you do not want in your caramel corn right here. So I leave that aside, and I've got about eight cups here. And the next thing you do is put some nuts on the top. And here's the thing, I use uh, almonds and walnuts are the healthiest nuts, and they're really better. If you can toast them first, they taste so much better, or pecans. In the oven, 350 for about seven to 10 minutes. I have a video for that too. But you put them on the popcorn, but here's the thing, do not stir them in. Leave them on the top just like this, and that way they'll pick up more syrup when you put the syrup on. And now it's time to make the syrup. So you need the smallest pot that you have. This is the one I use. You put in five tablespoons of unsalted butter. There we are. You put in a half a cup of uh, light brown sugar. You put in a quarter cup of corn syrup. I usually use my finger for that. It's easier because it's kind of messy. Quarter cup of corn syrup. And mm, half a teaspoon of salt. That's my salt. Here's a half a teaspoon, right there. Now, you put this on the stove, and you're gonna cook this, put it on about a well, medium, medium high or so. Mm, still got corn syrup. All right, just about like that. And you keep stirring and stirring until the butter's melted. It'll take about two minutes. And at that point, you're just gonna leave it on the stove for five minutes cook all by itself, uncovered, undisturbed, and uh, then we put it all together and we make the caramel corn. So I'll, I'll be back in a second when this is all melted and we'll continue. So it's all stirred in and then you have to be prepared just to leave it alone. So, okay, it's boiling now. I'm going to turn down the heat just uh, to, just so it keeps going about medium or so. And now uh, you, let, you leave this uncovered, undisturbed for five minutes. You'll need a timer for that. Here's my timer. We will set it for five minutes. Whoops. There it is. Yeah. Be back in five. Okay, five minutes are up. Turn off the stove. You get your syrup. It's still bubbling. Now you're gonna add two things to this syrup. You're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Look how it's still cooking, that's amazing. Half teaspoon of vanilla. And after this, you gotta work fairly quickly. There's the vanilla. Now, you stir this in. You'll see it changes color. It's gonna turn a white, lighter color than it was. And you want to move fairly quickly. You start putting it on, and you left the nuts on top, so you pour it over the nuts first, directly over the nuts and over the popcorn. I don't do it all at once because I think I get better coverage. And you just start to, to stir it. I, I tried doing this by hand, but it's kind of hot. So you just kind of stir it and turn the popcorn over. Then when you get the popcorn that doesn't have syrup, you put on some more. Try to kind of cover the areas that don't have it because it really sticks and it's kind of, it's not that easy to, to smush it around. But the hotter it is when you're doing it, the easier it is. So don't let it, don't take too long with this. Move quickly and as you stir it, you'll turn up the popcorn parts that are white and you put the syrup on the white part. I do this in about three or four sections. Maybe I'll do one more section. And then I actually look for parts that don't have it. And even if you miss some now, 
uh, you'll get it in the uh, in the oven because this that stuff's going to melt again when it goes in the oven. So see, here's a chunk that's kind of still white right there, and I'll put the last of the syrup on there. And you need a good a silicone spatula to get all that nice syrup out, and stir it in. If you want to try it by hand, use some gloves or something because it's still still pretty hot. But that's stirred up fairly well. I think most pieces are fairly well covered. Now we're going to put this on an ungreased, what they call a jelly roll pan or a half pan, whatever, a pan like this. And you just put it in the pan, spread it out. You see how, look how, see it's already hardened in there. That's how fast this stuff uh, caramelizes like that. So you kind of just sm flatten it out, spread it out like this. And now it goes in your preheated 250 degree oven for one hour and you stir it every 15 minutes for an hour and it's done. So here it goes into your 250. You set your timer again. Uh, I set it every 15 minutes to do a stir. So we'll set this for 15 minutes. And there it is. And I'll be back in 15. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. It's time to take it out of the oven and stir it. And this is something you're gonna do three times during the hour that it cooks. And you just need a spatula and you'll see, see how it gets sticky? That's what I said, if popcorn doesn't have any syrup on it, it'll get syrup on it this way. You just keep kind of turning it over. So you, you stir it in from all the edges. Turn it around like that. Careful, because the, the pan's hot and the syrup is hot. And it's, it is a little bit messy, but it's fun too. It smells great. I wish you could smell this sort of caramel smell, sweet. Okay. So you just turn it over basically, spread it back around to all the edges. And if you get a lot on the uh, spatula, you can take it off like that with a knife and kind of just, you know, put it back on some of the popcorn. Back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Now you're going to do this for two more times because it bakes for an hour. So you'll do it at 15 and 30 and 45 minutes and in the hour it's all done in one hour. So I'll be back when it's all finished. Okay, after an hour in the oven, this is how you cool the uh, caramel corn. You need wax paper. You take a long strip of wax paper like that. You take the caramel corn out of the oven and you cool it on wax paper. So you just kind of take it off like that. And it'll seem st uh, like a little sticky at first, but once it cools, it won't be sticky to the touch. But let it cool completely. It'll be easier to eat. There's your almonds and nuts and stuff. You can leave it in chunks or kind of, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's fun to have little pieces and stuff too. So that's it. You lay it out like that. You cool it that way um, for 15, 20 minutes and you're good to go. Okay, it's all done. This is how much that recipe makes. And no matter how much you make, this stuff is going to disappear anyway. It'll probably become your family's favorite snack and they'll resort to tricks. They'll do whatever it takes to get to this popcorn. It's that good.